everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Marta or Marta, if you can roll your R's, but either way is fine. Coming out to you bare face because this is a self-care day. It's not Sunday, it's Friday, but we are in for the weather, so I just figured I'm gonna do this today. Today is the day that we get rid of these claws. Um, so yeah, excuse my appearance. I did curl my hair though. I did curl my hair, but um, it is that time of the month. We have pimples everywhere, but we are thriving. It is fine. <laughs> we are letting the skin breathe. <laughs> but yes, these nails have been on since, uh, well, since December, like, 5th, I think. Like, they've been on for quite a while. Um, as you guys can see, my real nails are the full length, so my real nails are pretty long, and the only reason that they are long is because I have dip on them. If I don't, if I have gel or regular polish, I will pick it off. By the way, guys, I'm really sorry for all the noise. There's construction going on everywhere, and there's nothing I can do about it. Anyway, I am trying to save uh, money right now for a down payment on a house, whether that happens at the end of this year or next year, whatever. I am trying to see where I can save extra money, and so nails, getting my nails done, was one of them. <laughs> Same with lashes. So we are going to be doing our nails at home today. I watched a ton of YouTube videos on how to safely remove your dip polish, and then also I got the Kiss. I got the Simple Kiss Kit that's literally $12 to do dip nails at home. So it has everything in it from tips to glue to a translucent translucent dip powder to build off of. Um, there's no color in here, so then I went and bought all these beautiful colors that I'm really excited about. Look at this. Oh my gosh. I got really way ahead of myself before I even tried this, but... <laughs> This is called the Gelin 24 Color Dip um, Nails. I got this on Amazon, but look at all this. It has every color. I'll put a little picture screenshot of all the colors that it has. I am really gonna just try to go for like a nude or like a dark brown. We'll see what we can work with. I feel like brown, any dark color is gonna be really obvious when I mess up, so I feel like I should pick a light color to start with. We'll see when we get there. First, we have to build the dip um, base, but really excited about this. I am going to voice narrate the rest of this video because I really just wanna focus on my hand. I'm also just gonna do one hand for this video so we can do it start to finish. It can be nice and quick, and then when I'm done with one hand, I'll move on to the other hand after. But yeah, we're gonna start with getting our coconut oil, our uh, on, I don't even know how to say it, professional nail polish remover. You're gonna want a bowl and a little sandwich bag and we are gonna go ahead and get started. We also need a nail file, so without further ado, let's get into it. So the first step is taking a nail file and just rubbing off the top layer of your previous dip powder. You don't have to go crazy with this, just break that seal. Next, you're gonna heat up a bowl of water in the microwave, so I just heat it up for two minutes so it's nice and hot. And then you're gonna take your little sandwich bag and pour in the nail polish remover inside of it. Just enough so if you have it turned onto the corner, you could fit all five of your fingers in it. And so you're gonna sit that bag in the water so it can heat up and get nice and warm. It's gonna be way more effective that way. And then you're going to grab some cotton balls. I got the mini ones by accident. So if you have a normal size cotton ball, you can just put one in, but I had to put three mini ones in. Let that soak in there. And then the most important ingredient here is the coconut oil. This is what's going to protect your fingers from getting dried out. So scoop up some coconut oil. I don't really have a measurement for this. Just get some and put that in the acetone as well. Then, for about 10 minutes, you're just going to stick your fingers inside and just rub your nails against the cotton balls with the coconut oil. If you have a cut on your hand, you will realize now that you have a cut on your hand. Oh my god! After about a minute, the pain of my cut on my pinky went away, but just kept rubbing and rubbing for about 10 minutes and eventually it came off. I was mind blown. Even the sparkle dip powder was coming off. So just put on your favorite Netflix show and just keep on rubbing until it's all gone. Hello guys, I am blown away. I am blown away. So first of all, the middle finger, 
it broke because it was so thin. Look at this. It was so thin, but it was so long, but I am blown away. I need to scrub this off a little bit, but it worked. It worked. I cannot believe that. Oh my gosh. And the glitter one, like I am shocked that the glitter one came off so well. My nails are so long and beautiful, except for this one. So I think this was the game changer. Like the coconut oil, like I don't even look like my hands were just an acetone for 10 minutes. This was the game changer. I had to use a bunch of these because I only got mini ones. Why did I get mini ones? I don't know, I should have got big ones, but I just had a, like six in there and I was just like, <laughs> for like 10 minutes and it worked. So that is freaking amazing. So now um, it says that you need to, before you go into dip, you need to give them like an hour to breathe. So yeah, I'm gonna try to file this down push my cuticles back and just not have them be wet for an hour. I will see you guys tomorrow and we will move on to applying the dip, but removal was a success. Now I am opening the base dip powder. It's like a pink translucent powder to form the base and we'll do the color later. And I'm gonna pour it into the little bowl that came with the kit. Then you need to just make sure there are no bumps, there's no um, any glue, there's no nail polish, nothing left on your nail, so it has a nice smooth surface for the dip powder to adhese to. Adhese? Is that a word? Adhesive to? <laughs> so I'm just using the rough part, and then I'm shaping my nails to the shape that I want, which I really like the coffin shape. You guys can see my um, middle finger broke off. <laughs> This step's really important to take that little cuticle tool and push back your skin. You do not want any of the gel, the adhesive, any of the dip powder on your skin because it literally turns into cement. And I did not do this well enough, so really take the time to do this and then when you're actually applying it, do it better than I did. You'll see how it turns out in the end. Uh, but I did my best, I did my best. The kit also comes with all these tips, so you just wanna open that up and find the tip that matches your nail size. So like I said, I'm just putting one on on my middle finger that broke. And to put it on, you're gonna use the gel that comes in the pack again and just put a little bit on the nail. And then you're gonna press it onto your nail and hold it there for a while. I actually held it for probably like five minutes, just making sure that it stayed on there pretty well. Now we need to trim that because that is way too long. My sisters wear their nails that long, I cannot function. I also realized I'm using a toenail clipper instead of a fingernail clipper, so just ignore that. But it was probably better because this nail tip was thick. So I'm just shortening it to match up with the length of my other nails and also trying to cut it into that coffin shape that I like, kind of like that. And then this step's really important. You wanna take a nail file and blend in where the nail connects with your nail so there's no different elevation. It's nice and smooth for the dip powder to go on to. And I think I have the shape that I want. And now we are finally going in with the dip powder. So you're gonna take that gel and paint your nail. I definitely recommend you do not go all the way up to the cuticle like I did. Try to just stay on the end in the middle of the nail because it's gonna build and turn into cement. But regardless, I was learning, it's fine. And then you're going to dip it in and then gently tap off the excess. And you're going to repeat this on all of your nails for the first coat. Next, you're gonna grab the little black sponge that came with the kit and lightly brush off the excess powder that's on your cuticles and your fingers. At first, I was really gentle with this because I wasn't sure how set the dip powder was, but I then discovered once I started tapping it that it was pretty dry. So you can go ham with this and really rub off everything. This is gonna prevent clumping and little tiny dots forming and uneven texture, and also it's gonna prevent the 
uh, dip from cementing into your cuticles. You do not want that. So really get everything out after you've done this first coat and then take an unused makeup brush and brush away any of the excess powder. So again, you don't have anything in your cuticles. I could have done a better job, but regardless, I tried. And then we're going to go in with the second coat. So I went in with my second coat and that's what my nails look like. Pretty good. And then you can actually save the powder. So just pour it right back into the container that it came in to use for next time. So I really like that you can reuse it. This is the color I went with today. It is a orangey, nude, warm color. So I just poured that in and we are going in again with the gel. So this is technically our third coat, but our first coat of the color dipping it into all of my nails, and then we'll go in with a second coat after. This is just one coat. Look how good that thumb turned out. And now I'm going in with the second coat of the colored dip powder, just carefully trying not to get any of that gel onto my actual skin and dip it in and again we're going to use the sponge and the brush to remove any of the powder this thumb is beautiful i just have to say do we like this color i don't even know if we like the color well um they look fat and chunky <laughs> but that is okay except for my thumb before we can file these down and make them nice and smooth, we need to use the activator that came in the kit to harden this powder as hard as we can make it. So you're just going to put one coat of this on to make it nice and hardened. After this, I used a nail file to shape it to the desired shape and to smooth down the top of it. And then I just did two coats of gel on the top to make it nice and shiny. I didn't film it, but that's what I did. And then we're done. Much time has passed. <laughs> look at me. I look like I just rolled out from under the bed and I'm about to attack your children. Hello. Um, so basically, I just had to put a gel coat on top again and kind of like just keep buffing out the edges. And this is what we're to with. It is okay. As you can see, I did not push back my cuticle and... Um, the thumb is fantastic. The thumb is amazing. But I did not push back my cuticle, so they are looking rough. But if we're like at this distance, come on. Come on, $12, pretty freaking good. I'm just gonna put some rejuvenic oil on my cuticles because they are looking a little crust right now. All right guys, so I guess my review is that I definitely recommend it. It definitely takes skill. Oh, I'm sorry, I have to keep crouching because I didn't move the camera. But I definitely think that it is worth it. Worth trying it and I mean, I was just in between meetings. Like I would have a 40 minute meeting and have 20 minutes in between my next meeting. So then 20 minutes I would do my nails and do a step and then have to stop and so it took me a while. I mean, if you really think about it, four hours to do one hand, but it wasn't four hours because it was 20 minutes in between four hours. So really, what, like an hour and a half? Yeah, you guys know the math. Oh, I will link below everything. I got a lot of things on Amazon. I'll link it below. We did it, so now we have to do the other hand. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Again, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Comment below whatever you want to see next from me. And I love you so much. I will see you in my next video. Bye.